Hey, good morning, everybody. Today is December 5th, 2019. I am Jeffrey Jansen. Some sticky on my fingers. I hope everybody's having a great day. I hope you all are waking up to the sun shining today. I'm seeing a lot of small towns today, and they got a lot of Christmas stuff out. Holy cow. And I might come back through. I'm going to put that live on there. Some of these small towns, these beautiful small towns in America that I get to go through every day. People ask me why I put things for like Mother Teresa or motivational speakers or Brian Carruthers or, uh, you know, all these different people that, uh, that motivate people. Well, to me, the true motivators, my actual motivation came when I was in the Marine Corps. And that's because every morning, it was not about somebody who had money and made it big or anything else. It was about getting up, getting the job done, training to be good at what you need to be good at, and basically using... Now, one of the speeches I'm going to give one day on stage or somewhere else is why muscle memory is so important. To me, it's one of the things I took from the Marine Corps... And muscle memory, let me kind of give you the definition of it through the Marine Corps' eyes. When you're out on the rifle range, you do something over and over and over again until you can't stand it anymore, and then you keep doing it. And what eventually happens is your muscles are trained and your reflexes are trained to do that very things they hate doing is training these people that learn to shoot from the hip with their daddy's shotgun. They really hated doing that. They, they don't like training. They, because the reason why is because you got to retrain these guys. Okay? I mean, I learned to shoot from my father like a lot of people in my family from a rifle or a, you know, a pistol or something. And with muscle memory though, every day. So if I get up every day and whether I'm not feeling or not, I look in the mirror and say, hey, Jeff, I can get this done. We can do this today. If I get up every day at a certain time, no matter what, on days that I get to sleep in, I'm going to still get up at those very times. Why? I'm training my body to do it. Now, some people think that's a bad thing. It's actually, you know, we get really mad at everything going on throughout the day. Man, we want to sleep in. Same thing over and over. If you get up and you get to do something different, to me, that's more of a privilege. So your body's getting you up. You're excited for the day. Now, maybe it's a vacation where you wanted to sleep longer. You can't. So what? Go do something else. You get the opportunity to start a new day. You get the opportunity to live your life. God gave you the opportunity to get up today. saying that all those functions inside your body, all those things working together, need to work together to get you up. So in other words, it's a miracle every day that you have life. Why? Because like I said, your brain's got to work with your heart, the veins, the cells, the muscles. It's got to work with everything. And if it can't, then you don't get it. And he died of a heart attack, they're thinking, in his sleep. But that's not what I'm trying to tell you. What I'm trying to tell you is when you get up and you're complaining, oh, I want to go back to bed, or oh, I don't want to face today, and all of a sudden you start bringing your kids down and you bring your spouse down, then you get to work and you start bringing those around you and all day long, then you get home and you're like, huh, I'm feeling kind of good, let's go do it. What?
And you want to know something? He's going to let you get up tomorrow morning. But remember, there are some people that are not going to get up. There are some people... That's the reason why every day you got to learn to forgive yourself. you got to get up there. You see this right now? i got the sun shining in on me right now. While I'm talking to you, the last to me, I've got the sun shining on me right now as I go through all these small towns in America. I look over all these fields of wheat. Well, they're all harvested right now, you know. I see deer. I see trees. You know... If you would actually look at everything, it's a blessing to be alive. It's a blessing that we get to get up. And whether you're religious or not, or whether or not, whoever you think, look at the progress you have made. You made it where you're today, whether good or bad, for your own efforts. Why? Because you matter. You are important. You are the reason why you're out there today trying to work to make a dollar. The reason why that you're going out there today... And you're going to your job. You know, think of it like this. Napide in Quincy, Illinois, almost went on strike. Right before the holidays of all times. But you want to know something? I know the people over at Napide. I know the Napides. I know Jim Rubottom. I know the men and women that work over at Napide. And believe it or not, they are all great. The people that work at Napide, whether they're welders or working on the line or whatever it is, They're some of the greatest people in the world. They all have different stories. You know, Bo comes from a background where they built Napide. Got Jim Rubottom who keeps everything in order over there. So let's go and look at uh, Titan Wheel. Okay, making some of the world's biggest tires. Maury Taylor from Quincy, Illinois. You know, look at the success. And I see where their success came from. Is giving men and women jobs. Treating everybody equal. Letting everybody have a chance. You know... And they're a great employer. Now look at Blessing Hospital. All those heroes of nurses and those hero doctors and, you know, those ones that are EMT drivers. Okay, look at how many people are helping each and every one of us when we get sick or we need a little medical advice. Now look at all the truck drivers on the road today. They're hauling the goods of America. Five million truckers are on the road today hauling the goods of America so that you and I can brush our teeth in the morning, have bed sheets, so we can have food on the table. If you are using it, it came by a trucker. Those truckers are heroes because they are moving the entire world at their disposal. At one time, and it still is, the train system, and the boats, and the ships, and the barges, okay? Now look at everybody on the front lines. Look at all those men and women in the military that are protecting us from tyranny, that are protecting us from the enemy on the outside. Now look at the police officers and the firefighters and the National Guard Reserves that are protecting us from the enemy on the inside. Every day you got to understand that you matter. You need to go out there and push that envelope hard. It doesn't matter what everyone else's reactions are. Everybody looks at me in the parades when I'm running around. They have no clue what I'm doing. This will be my final example. So I'm in the parades. And they see me, and they're, I'm yelling at people, I'm getting them in and out, waving at everybody, and paying attention to all my surroundings. Did you know that nobody knows why I do that? They all think that I'm on Ritalin, or I got way too much energy. What they don't know is in order to have those trucks, because how the laws and the rules have gotten, in order to have those flatbed trucks, in order to have the soapbox derbies in there, in order to have the military trucks and stuff in there, I cannot allow anyone to get near those vehicles, no matter what. I cannot allow anyone to get close enough to where it would cause a danger to somebody. I have to pay attention to my daughter and everybody else walking the parade that's giving candies. I gotta make sure that nobody's getting ran over. I gotta make sure the drivers are paying attention. Now, during the day, that's fine, but we have a big parade coming up December, a Hannibal holiday parade that is done at night. So all the stuff I do during the other parades, everybody is used to hearing my voice. They're used to hearing me, you know, telling where they need to be. They're used to the lineups. They're used to the cameras. They're used to knowing that I'm paying attention to what's going on. And they know the team leaders around in each of the vehicles is paying attention. Why? Because that gives us the opportunity to not only use all those trucks in the parade, but it also...
makes the trade but the parades a little bit less exciting you know I, I know it's just for a couple seconds but it takes a day and years for a couple minutes or a couple days of preparation to make things go right and that is one of the greatest things about the parade so if you see me running around it's to keep people from getting close enough to where they can, they can be in danger and it's also to make sure the drivers are paying attention it's to make sure that no one is being distracted by the people around them me I'm used to the distractions that's what I'm good at now if you're out there in life today and you're gonna go go for that extra job go for that extra promotion go for those sales go for those companies you never would talk to you know it's not always about doing what I do or being something else sometimes you need to dig down in yourself look at what you love to do and go for it look life's too short like I said, it's a miracle every day that you got a chance to get up. Be the change. Be what you want to be today. You know, I know there's a lot of negatives around certain things in life. But if you look at people that have given themselves, somebody like Mother Teresa, it's done more good than anyone else. So we don't always agree on the political viewpoints or religious viewpoints, what she does. But still, look what she did. She put herself in harm's way day in and day out in order to bring happiness to the suffering. You know, Pope John Paul II, you know, he grew up in Poland, you know, and stuff like that. What did he used to do? He went right to the conflict. You know, there's so many people, they want all this, they want the positions, but they're not willing to do what it takes. They, they want to lead people but they want everybody else to lead them as long as they get the credit. That's not leadership. Go out there today and be a leader. Go out there today and be better than who you were yesterday. I'm Jeffrey Jansen. I'll be talking to you spir uh, sporadically throughout the day. But I want you to know right now, that sun is shining directly on you. And if you're in a dark area right now, you're like, I don't see no sun. I promise you the rays are trying to get to you right now. That sunlight should give you a little bit of vitamin D in your body, and you should be ripping, rare, and ready to go. My name is Jeffrey Jansen. I hope and pray y'all have a great day today. You matter to me. You are important to me, and I am blessed for knowing each and every one of you, and I wish only good stuff for you. And if you ever need any help, hey, I'm here. All you got to do is pick up the phone. All you got to do is ask. I'll talk to everybody later. Have a good day, everybody. I know.